Okay, guys, we're going to talk about network connections and we're going to look at the physical, the cabled, wired connections and the wireless connections that you're going to find in a network. So let's have a look and see what we have. Now, you might be familiar with this at home or even at school or any other companies that you might have visited before. Here you can see we have a wireless router, but the wireless router also has, and here you can see at the front of it, some routers have it at the back. Here you can see in the front of it, we have a ethernet port and that is connected directly with a cable to a computer. In this situation, you can see it's an ethernet port connecting directly to a laptop. Now, that means on this particular router, we can connect easily three up to four different devices on an Ethernet cable. And Ethernet cables have a particular speed and limitations. Now, we call that an RJ45 cable. RJ45, that's what it looks like over there. It's an Ethernet cable and that plugs where? Into your Ethernet port of your computer. Now, what if you wanted to go wireless? No, no wires, okay? So you have a router which is capable of sending a wireless signal to your various devices. You have a direct connection between them. There's no cable involved. So that is also possible and that is also what we call wireless networking. Let's have a look and see. Here you can see we have our wireless router. It broadcasts a signal or broadcasts what's known as an SSID. I think it's a station service identifier or service station identifier, something like that. And then you can go ahead and connect uh, up to a certain number of devices wirelessly to your router. Already you can see there are some advantages and some disadvantages to this setup. I want you to think about those while we carry on with the video. So the first thing that you're going to have in your whole hardware setup is going to be your fiber or ADSL or DSL or A uh, or LTE, sorry, from your ISP. Now, the, the fiber, ADSL or DSL comes from your ISP or you might have an LTE connection from a wireless ISP and that also is then accessible through various devices. Through that bit of hardware, you are then able to connect your various devices, such as a computer. If you wanted to have a, an actual desktop computer without any wireless features going through the Ethernet port. Or you could have your laptop, which connects via the Ethernet port or wirelessly as well. Your phone could connect wirelessly to your router or via LTE, your tablet and your smartwatches or smart devices as well. Does that give you a good idea? I hope so. Now, the different types or different ways of communicating or connecting to a network, we have wired and wireless. And here you can see, I've just given you a nice overview. We have our router on the left-hand side with a wired and wireless connections. We have an LTE modem in the middle with a LTE modem or LTE dongle underneath that and a SIM card. That's what we'd use for those. And on the right-hand side, you'll see a... Uh, what's called a repeater or a Wi-Fi hotspot or a wireless access point. All of those things mean the same thing here. And you might see these things. They look like these little disks. And you might see them in coffee shops, for example, giving you access to the internet. So some hardware devices that you will definitely find in a network will be a switch, very similar to this one here. That is a switch which allows us to connect many, many computers to each other. We have our server. The server has to control the access, the ins, the out, the firewall, security, etc. And of course, our router, which is connected directly to our service provider. Let's talk about speed. How fast is your line? How fast is your internet? Well, first of all, it's good to know that when you are talking about speed in terms of your internet access, we measure speed in MBPS. MBPS stands for megabits per second. Now, we measure speeds in terms of upload and download. Normally, your download speed is faster than your upload speed. Now, why is this? This is basically because you're downloading more than you're uploading. Uploading is when you send information from your computer to a server. Downloading is when you are requesting information from a web server or an online server of some kind. And so most of the time when you're browsing the web, you'll be downloading information. So your download speed, it just makes sense for it to be faster because that's what you're going to use the most. Now, let's say you have an ISP and they have said, well, we'll give you 5 slash 1 Mbps. 
what does that actually mean? What is the 5 and what is the 1? The first number and the last number. The first number refers to your download speed. Your download speed is 5 megabits per second. So that's like a 5 megabit line. That's actually pretty good. The 1 is your upload speed and that is 1 megabit per second. So some lines might give you a faster download speed and a slower upload speed. Whereas today, normally what we have is we have what's called a, a line speed which is upload and download at the same rate because our fiber connections are able to handle this. So we have a 20 Mbps or 20 megabit per second line and most ADSL and fiber connections nowadays are usually given in terms of line speeds. I hope that makes a bit more sense to you. Go ahead and have a look at your own internet service provider and see what speeds you guys are getting on your line. Okay, so I hope that makes a bit more sense to you. Go and have a look at your own Internet Explorer. Don't look at Internet Explorer. Huh.